Hey guys, welcome to another Football Manager mobile video. In this video, I'll be sharing another tactic that I found recently, right before I did the last video. This tactic is a 4-3-3, so I'll show you history. It's worked really well here. So starting, I'm playing as Dresden. I started with it in uh, first season, came first in the league. Did well. Um, second season, I also won the league uh, very well. Then in my first season in the Bundesliga, where this tactic goes to show how well it's done for me and how good of a tactic it is, I finished second in the league behind Bayern Munich by five points. And then the season following, I got to the first knockout round of Champions League. And then I won the Bundesliga with a respectable 25-7-2 record. And then this season, a few last points, but I won the Polka. I got to the Champions League semis. And it's done well for me. So let's get into the tactic. So here's the tactic. It's a 4-3-3. Uh, three strikers. So it's a tactic that's not commonly seen. When we talk 4 3 threes in this game, which is like that. Um, but this is a tactic uh, with pressing. F there being a pressing forward here. A poacher and a target man. Target man to win the long balls. Pressing forward to press defense and poacher to get into good position to score. Then midfield, we just have a normal central mid who can be defense or attack. A ball winning mid, good for defense, winning the ball back, getting it to those attackers. And then instead of a box to box midfield, I'm using a roaming playmaker which can drive the team forward and also defend. But Octavio in this game uh, leads the team. Much more than you'd see with a box to box midfielder. Then with the defense, we just stick with normal fullbacks because you want them to still go forward, but you don't want to play wing backs as that'll be too far up. Uh, and then you have your center backs. We don't need anything fancy. You don't need no nonsense. You don't need ball playing. Just normal defenders have worked fine. And with goalkeeper. Once again, it's normal. Okay, so here's the tactical shape. Uh, with it being attacking, balanced width, uh, fast tempo, uh, balanced creative freedom. And then for uh, defensive line, it's balanced. As you don't need it too high. And then... Closing down all over as you want to win the ball back and attack. Tackling committed just to win the ball back. You have to be cautious as it can cause red cards. And uh, that can be problematic. And then offside trap we also have. Attacking instructions. Look for overlap. Uh, just so you can get uh, full backs up the pitch. Overlap there. Uh, work into the box because you have lots of attackers. You can work it in. You don't need a shield on slide. Then run at the defense because you you don't need to through ball. You can run at them. Short style passing because we have lots of forwards. So you want to do tick attack almost passing. Uh, passing focus is mixed. So you can get it to, out wide or in the middle if need be. And goalkeeper distribution is mixed. Set pieces, I have just penalty spot for both. And that's all there is to really say. I will also pan out to a few screenshots I had of another save. Uh, where I, it's also been very successful. And here we go right now. So here's the second part of the video where I'll show you how the tactic does in matches. 
So just to show this is a completely brand new save uh, in Mexico, just to show, so you can see that there hasn't been much changes, just to show how well it does. So first match is, here we go. Okay, so here's the first match, just to show the tactic. So, so far, not much to say. 25 in. Okay, injury, so we'll bring on Will for Bonnie. So far, we have better stats as of now. And 1 0 up against Nakaxa. Here we go, see this passing. More shoot on sight there, but that win back 2 0 Omar Niasi gets 2 0 lead. And 2 0 lead currently, and we're dominating. We're starting to take control of this match. And there's a chance to get back in the game for the CPU. But looks like we're going to win this comfortably. Just the last highlight. And... That's the first match to show. 2 now. Second match, and it's against Atlas. In... Here we go. There's a chance for them to take the lead. And they have taken the lead. And this is going to be an unfair matchup to show the tactic now. As they're down to 10. So we're going to probably dominate the match. Yep. And with that red card, the game's completely changed and it'll take over. But I guess you'll see that in different scenarios. This tactic works. Like, sometimes you'd see with them being down to 10 that they'd park the bus and time would fly quickly in the game. Though in this match, it's much tighter. And they could have won it. So that's it, 2-1. I'll show you one more game. 1-0 down. Shall be that, huh? With the goal for them. And 1-1, one, one, Wilfred Bonney gets us back in it. Not a great start by the team, but we can get back in. 1-1 one, one half time. They're going to pass through, but nothing comes from that highlight.
10 minutes for a winner. Bonnie and Niasse gets what could be the winner here. 93rd minute. Agrair. Sosa. And it's another win. And once again. It's a decent win result. And it's been a good tactic, as you see, 6-2-0 and always start the season with a new save. The tactic will work. It might be difficult at first, but it works really well once getting up the ranks and doing well in top flight divisions. It's worked in wonders in Germany for me with both the Hamburg save I've done and the Dresden save. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm hoping to put out a new video soon around when the features are released. If not then, I'll do a video on how to be successful in your road to glory saves. Working our way up the divisions. Until next time, this is another Football Manager mobile video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, guys.